NASA has announced that the Ingenuity helicopter has just made an amazing discovery on Mars that may change everything. The helicopter, which has already surpassed its life expectancy, continues to surprise engineers back home. Let's take a closer look. Did life ever arise on Mars? For years, NASA's Mars Exploration Program has been systematically trying to find out. The agency Spirit and Opportunity rovers showed that liquid water once existed on the surface. Building on that discovery, NASA's Curiosity rover found conditions on Mars around 4 billion years ago that could have supported life as we know it. Now, Perseverance continues to directly search for signs of past life. Perseverance launched on July 30, 2020 amidst the added challenge of the global COVID-19 pandemic. On February 18, 2021, it landed in Yezero Crater, the site of an ancient lake and river delta. There, the rover has been searching for microbial fossils in rocks that formed in Mars's warm, wet past. It also looks for carbon-containing molecules called organics that form the building blocks of life on Earth. Not since 1976 has NASA directly searched for life on Mars when the dual Viking landers performed long-shot chemistry experiments that turned up inconclusive results. Perseverance is collecting soil and rock samples as it travels, keeping them in tubes that future missions by NASA and the European Space Agency will collect. The one-ton, six-wheeled Mars rover is the size of a compact car. Based on the same design as the nuclear-powered Curiosity, Perseverance can operate through dust storms that block the sunlight required by solar-powered spacecraft. Using images from navigation cameras placed strategically around the rover, as well as imagery from orbital satellites such as NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, scientists and mission operators work together to drive Perseverance to promising areas of interest. If a spot seems particularly interesting, the rover collects a sample, seals it in a small tube, and leaves the tube on the surface for return to Earth. Perseverance is the first NASA rover since a search for signs of ancient life. Nearly a half century ago, NASA sent a pair of landers to Mars, marking the first U.S. mission to successfully touch down on the planet. The Viking mission, launched in 1975, aimed to look for current life on Mars, and came up empty. The results from the Viking landers were ambiguous and taught us that we needed to better understand the surface of Mars and potential habitats on Mars. Follow-up missions of orbiters, landers, and rovers looked to see if Mars was even habitable to begin with. They focused on searching first for signs of ancient water, a key to life as we know it here on Earth. Rovers like Spirit and Opportunity, launched in 2003, and Curiosity, launched in 2011, provided the groundwork for Perseverance to begin searching for ancient microbes in the rocks and dirt on the planet. The rover is searching an area on Mars known as the Yezero Crater. Scientists think this might have been an ancient lake fed by a flow of Martian rivers. Over the next few months, the rover will make a beeline toward a river delta at the edge of the crater. Life as we know it requires habitable environments. The assumption is that life on Mars would need water as a universal solvent, much like life here on Earth. Finding environments where we know water may have once flowed is one of the biggest objectives for scientists to start digging deeper into the search for life. Much like river deltas here on Earth, scientists expect to find layers and layers of rich geological history trapped in the sediment, a prime spot for drilling samples that might have trapped evidence of past Martian life. Confirming ancient life on another planet would be an extraordinary finding. Experts say one that will require extraordinary evidence. The rover is equipped with drills and sample tubes and has already begun collecting bits of Martian rock. In its first year, it has collected and stashed six samples, with the opportunity to collect up to 40. Once these samples are returned to Earth, they will be extensively studied for several years in an attempt to decode more about the mysterious red planet.
Until then, Perseverance, along with Ingenuity, will continue to explore the Red Planet. Ingenuity is a very small helicopter, weighing in at just under 4 pounds, though it weighs just 1.5 pounds on Mars. The craft stands just 19 inches tall. It is powered by a small solar panel mounted above its rotor blades. When it was initially deployed by Perseverance, Ingenuity relied on a battery charged by the rover to stay warm through the first Martian night. Ingenuity was designed as a technology demonstration and, while the craft does not carry any scientific equipment on board, it still has a few key pieces of tech and a few notable capabilities that allow it to do its job on Mars. The solar panel on the helicopter charges lithium-ion batteries and can provide enough energy for one 90-second flight per Martian day, or an average of 350 watts of average power during each flight, according to NASA. Despite this limitation, the craft has flown up to 117 seconds during a flight, a feat which it managed to accomplish on its fourth flight. The craft also has a listed flight altitude of 15 feet, but has flown to a whopping 33 feet on its fifth flight. Ingenuity has two blades that spin in opposite directions at about 2,400 RPM. The only instruments on board the helicopter that do not directly allow it to fly are its two cameras. It has a wide-angle 0.3-megapixel navigation camera and, additionally, a 12-megapixel color camera. While the craft had some added photo help from Perseverance during its first few flights, after its fifth flight took it to a new airfield and began a new phase in its mission, the helicopter was on its own to take images. The helicopter was never supposed to last this long. NASA engineers built and tested the first self-powered aircraft to fly on another planet to answer a simple question. Could the helicopter fly at all? The goal was to take five flights in 30 Martian days or break the aircraft trying. But more than 120 Martian days past that experiment window, Ingenuity is still flying and doing things no one ever expected. The helicopter, which took its first flight on April 19th, is breaking its records for distance and speed. It's helping the Perseverance rover explore the Yezero Crater near an ancient river delta that may hold signs of past Martian life. Ingenuity is coping with changing seasons and navigating over rough terrain, two things that the flyer wasn't designed to do. The helicopter is flying farther, faster, and higher than it did in its first few flights. The helicopter has lifted itself a maximum of 12 meters above the Martian surface, zipped along at up to 5 meters per second, and covered 625 meters in a single flight. These extremes give engineers valuable information about the limits of flying on Mars. Early on, Ingenuity tested its limits in a way that the flight team didn't plan for. During its sixth flight, the helicopter's navigation system suffered a glitch that made it roll and sway alarmingly. Luckily, the helicopter touched down safely within five meters of its intended landing spot. Originally, the helicopter team wanted to push the vehicle until it broke, but now the researchers are flying more cautiously and less often. That's because the helicopter is currently supporting the Perseverance rover in doing science. The helicopter has already proven its worth by telling the rover where not to go. Ingenuity's ninth flight took the helicopter over a dune field called South Seta, which would have been difficult for the rover to drive through safely. Then, Ingenuity photographed some rock outcrops and raised ridges in South Seta that looked interesting in images taken from an orbiting spacecraft. Scientists thought those ridges could record some of the deepest water environments in the lake that filled the crater long ago. By flying over the Seta region, Ingenuity was able to complete a task in less than three minutes that would have taken months for Perseverance to accomplish. And that innovation is at the heart of the Ingenuity mission, which is also about demonstrating that powered vehicles can fly on Mars. That type of technology is invaluable to robotic missions and represents a new era of exploration. NASA has a successful history of landing rovers on Mars, which started with the Mars Pathfinder mission in the 1990s. That mission, with its Sojourner rover, proved that wheeled vehicles could explore the Martian surface and act as our eyes and ears on the Red Planet. Humans have explored Mars for decades now with the help of these mobile scientists. But Ingenuity is something new. 
proving that scientists can send aerial vehicles to help scout new and intriguing targets, as well as traverse places a rover could not. The air on Mars is notoriously thin and has been getting even thinner over time. As that part of Mars shifts from spring to summer, the air density has gone from about 1.5% of Earth's at sea level to about 1%. That doesn't sound like a big difference, but it's enough that Ingenuity has had to spin its rotor blades faster to stay aloft. At that faster spin speed, the helicopter can fly for only 130 seconds at a time instead of the 170 seconds it managed before, without running the risk of the motors overheating. Even with these limitations, the helicopter has proven to be a valuable asset to scientists as it has helped make some incredible observations on the Red Planet. Even with the mission extension, Ingenuity's tasks on the Red Planet remain fairly simple. Fly, snap photos, land, and survive. However, there are a lot of future applications for the craft. For instance, a vehicle like Ingenuity can be used to fly pretty far ahead quickly and go to places that would be otherwise inaccessible, such as Martian mountains and ravines. These capabilities could assist further robotic missions with scouting and imaging terrain which is challenging to navigate. Engineers are already dreaming of the next Martian aircraft. Current blueprints include a scaled-up version of Ingenuity that could carry more equipment and work alone or with a rover and a large hexacopter with six rotors arranged around a central ring. A craft like that could cover more ground more quickly than a rover, traveling distances that could take Perseverance multiple years and just a few months. But until that time comes, Ingenuity continues to set the bar for planetary exploration. Perhaps the most interesting discovery the helicopter has made so far is the mysterious spacecraft wreckage it found on the Martian surface. What seemed like various foreign objects scattered on a crash site from a distance turned out to be components from the same craft that helped the helicopter land safely on Mars. Upon closer look, the helicopter found that it had discovered the crashed remains of both the parachutes that assisted the Perseverance rover to land on the Red Planet. Among the wreckage was also the cone-shaped back shell that protected the rover in deep space and during its fiery descent toward the Martian surface. Entry, descent, and landing on Mars are fast-paced and stressful, not only for the engineers back on Earth, but also for the vehicle enduring the gravitational forces, high temperatures, and other extremes that come with entering Mars's atmosphere at nearly 12,500 miles per hour. The parachute and back shell were previously imaged from a distance by the Perseverance rover, but those collected by the rotor craft provided more detail. The images have the potential to help ensure safer landings for future spacecraft such as the Mars Sample Return Lander, which is part of a multi-mission campaign that would bring Perseverance's samples of Martian rocks, atmosphere, and sediment back to Earth for detailed analysis. Perseverance had the best documented Mars landing in history, with cameras showing everything from parachute inflation to touchdown, but Ingenuity's images offer a different vantage point. In the images of the upright back shell and the debris field that resulted from it impacting the surface at about 78 miles per hour, the back shell's protective coating appears to have remained intact during atmospheric entry. Many of the 80 high-strength suspension lines connecting the back shell to the parachute are visible and also appear intact. Spread out and covered in dust, only about a third of the orange and white parachute, at 70.5 feet wide, it was the biggest ever deployed on Mars, can be seen, but the canopy shows no signs of damage from the supersonic airflow during inflation. Several weeks of analysis will be needed for a more final verdict. If you like this video, you may also enjoy this one, which talks about the discovery of interstellar objects entering the solar system. Do you think this wreckage could be alien in nature? Please share your thoughts in the comments section below.